My name is Michael Knight. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Encore Technology Group. The modern day data center is uh, quite a bit different than the traditional server and uh, server room type closet scenario. The reason for that is there is a significant amount uh, of additional resources that are being brought back from a data center perspective. So rather than just having servers and server rooms and server closets and those types of things, a data center is an entire compute and storage environment and is uh, built for high availability and disaster recovery business continuance. And it's scalable, it's dynamic, it has a lot more capacity than the old server rooms, whereas before you had to re-cable and re-plug and change everything around to add one more node, whereas today's data centers, uh, you're, you can expand uh, on the fly and without downtime. Cisco has a, a long history of operating in that environment. What Cisco has done is instead of continuing to try to operate in that type of environment as many other manufacturers are, Cisco changed gears and is now building to the world of fabrics. So the term fabric, uh, especially in, in today's markets, it, it traditionally just meant a storage fabric, which was fiber channel, traditionally. Uh, but in today's market, uh, from a compute perspective and from a network perspective, fabrics mean a wholly interconnected, think of the word mesh, but a wholly interconnected uh, way to communicate and to interconnect. There's been a lot of uh, misnomers and misunderstandings of the word cloud. I think most people think that cloud means that you are connecting to a resource somewhere. And that's partially true. But that could also be true just as simply a hosted solution, which is simply a server blinking in somebody's closet. What a true cloud infrastructure is, it's a, uh, it's a connectivity and it's a method for accessing your resources. So you have to use a common connectivity medium, but that resource has to be located in multiple geographic locations.